Here's Sievers. To Morenz. And the lead in the championship for Newell Fonda. That is a comeback for the ages. What a game. As the lights went down on the 2020 Iowa girls basketball season, nobody had any idea what lay ahead. Coronavirus infections have passed the half million mark worldwide. 3.3 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits in the last week alone. Open up your trunk, thank you. With much of the country in quarantine, Iowans came to terms with a global pandemic. Decision makers were faced with difficult choices, including the executive director of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, Gene Berger. Remember, this is all new. We have no playbook. You're just operating sort of in this vacuum. Schools are shut down. Our sports are shut down. Our kids are not working with coaches. We made the decision not to have any of our spring sports. When Coach had to call that meeting and say, sorry, ladies, there's no season, what was your emotion? I look back on it now, and I just wish that I spent, like, five more minutes on the field, like, just taking it all in, like, taking deep breaths, like, wow, this was my last time. I definitely wish that I had just one more moment, like, on the field with my best friends. The season kept getting pushed back and delayed. Pitchers and catchers knew that we couldn't be taking this time off. So we all found like open fields somewhere wherever we could go to pitch together and catch together. By summer 2020, COVID-19 was a fact of life. The IGHSAU chose to let each district decide for themselves whether or not to participate in summer sports. A softball coach said, just tell us what we need to do and we'll do it. We'll do anything you want us to do so we can play. Uh, and they did. We are on the way to a beautiful evening in Fort Dodge. The state championship is number one goal when you're in a sport. That's everyone's goal. And so we kind of kept that in the back of our mind. Cheyenne Barron, she's a 507 hitter. We take our temperature before each practice, before each game. How to sanitize all of our equipment. We had our own bats and our own helmets. And during games, we had to take the ball into the dugout with us instead of leaving it at the pitcher's mound. We weren't able to stay in the dorms. If we had a regular season, we would have stayed in the dorms there. And so we drove back every day, like two and a half hours every day, twice. We learned so much. So we took that into our fall championships and into volleyball especially. Keep a safe distance away, always sanitize and sanitizing balls, sanitizing hands, not sharing really any equipment at all. With all the crazy going on in the world, like we knew we had volleyball, so always just play and rely on that. So we wanted to take advantage of it and that's what we were gonna do. We we're just gonna play, compete, and have fun. If this is what we have to do, especially for like the seniors like Fiona and I, this is our last chance to play and because of these circumstances, like we're just gonna have to do what we have to do. The state championship for Clarksville, fifth time's a charm. I think it is really important to note that we got cut short of some games and some practices. We had to like work on our own and do our own thing on our own to keep at it and to still improve every single day. As the seasons changed, so did case counts. With winter approaching, Iowans were reminded that nothing in 2020, least of all a schedule, is guaranteed. When you get the news that there's been a stoppage and we're going virtual before we were able to play our first game, then you have another stoppage for the holiday break. And we get shut down with COVID for 10 days. Having to watch other teams play there's a perspective that you don't get by playing every night. And so they're glad at the opportunity to play it, even if it's to practice for one night. And so they're not taking anything for granted at this point. That research on mental health, that really struck a chord with me about what kids had been giving up. Losing something that you're that passionate about affects a lot. Honestly, for me, I kind of just 
didn't think about that we were in a pandemic. I was just focused in the moment because you're never going to get that back. So I didn't want to hold back any of the energy or any of that. The best part of it was just being able to go out there and compete and forget about what was all going on around us. We were all just like banding together to support each other. Just being able to get out of the house and like see sports. And that smile says it all. Everyone just seemed so excited.